Hi guys, so this is a review of the WNBF Supernatural uh, Championship in Birmingham. So this is a review of that competition. Uh, we're going to start with the organizing the show. Um, so that place was a very awkward place, three, three floors, um, many exits, many entrances, uh, nobody knows where everything is um, even the crew some of the crew members I asked specific questions and they were like they don't know um, so it's it's just a simple sign next to the door that would have helped massively so a simple sign this is the the pumping room whatever a simple sign of this is the way to the backstage or even a simple arrow pointing to where he should go. The amount of people you bump into on the stairs asking you, where, where is the stage? Where is the backstage? Where is the pumping room? It's in a different um, floor as well. So the pumping room in a different floor. And then after the pumping room, they take you to uh, the backstage, which is it's not really a backstage. It's a very small area not ready for athletes just full of wires and things equipment for the lighting whatever filming um yeah so it's just it made things very uneasy for athletes at that day you don't want to stress like people the athletes were stressing for where to go like they didn't know where to go i'm pretty sure it took everybody a good half an hour or even more to, to, to know where everything else and then even then you'll be going downstairs you're not sure which floor like I did this person I was confused which is which um, anyway so that's one thing um, I, I'm, I'm going to talk about me as a coach as well so prepared 40 pounds to get a coach pass to be able to help my athletes backstage so basically there was no backstage i was at um not at the actual female changing area but outside of this room which is a very awkward place to stand because it's like a corridor small everybody's going out in um so i had to call my athletes to come out Maybe if you need some something, we'll do some nutrition adjustment. We'll do some check with the posing. Um, it will help them with the tan, things like that. So it was very un uh, easy for both of us. Um, she's inside that area. I have to call her to come out, to go back in, and then it's there's no place really to to do things, you know uh my i thought the pumping or the 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 pump before you get on the stage will be in a convenient area next to the stage or just close to the stage just in a different floor totally and by this point it's just there's no there's no really need for it's just a, the last literally three to five minutes before you get on the stage so plus Everybody was going in and out anyway. So I paid £40 for this thing that it's printed on the computer. It's not even a, you know, and uh, everybody can walk in anyway. doesn't matter whether you're a coach, you're not a coach, you paid, you didn't pay. That didn't really make any difference. Um, which is disappointing, really. Very disappointing. And um, even the actual tickets, you have as a coach who paid forty pound for to get this pass. To get this pass, you still have a ticket. Need to have a ticket, so you can't just walk in with this. I try to walk in to watch my athletes once they are on the stage. Nobody even asked me for a ticket, so so I'm pretty sure you could just walk in, like whether you paid the ticket or not um so there was no one on the door no one asked me anything um uh, yeah 
so I just walked and I had a ticket obviously but like nobody asked me if I have a ticket or not so in terms of the um, rules on the website specifically for bikini uh, regarding the heels it says that it's uh, not allowed certain type of heels and has to be no platform or a certain height of heel platform uh, so one of my athletes being the person who likes to follow the rules she bought a specific um, heels according to their rules on the website which cost her I don't know 150 pounds something like that and then I look at the stage and she can see it as well everybody wears whatever the hell they want heels this high platform big platform small platform whatever so you just clearly you're not enforcing the rules that you have on your website it's just it's just a really big hassle like why why would you do this and nobody cares anyway everybody wears whatever they want so that's one thing as well in terms of the judging and this is another story so I'm not going to talk about all divisions but specifically the bikini the woman bikini um, I don't know what standards they're looking for because it's really really confusing what happened the results for this division specifically was really confusing so I don't know what you're looking for but the, the winner of this category um, it, no offense to the person of course this is just it's me confused I don't know what they're looking for um, just not my conclusion the bikini athlete looks like um, a person who just does a half an hour walk every day that's basically it again no offense to the person but just no muscle mass um, none of the none of the st the judging criteria that we used to maybe I understand this at all it's a different federation it's not IFBB but w what are you looking for if you're looking for someone you know with that standard you should you should say clearly on the website that and uh, even some of the girls who placed second third fourth whatever fifth or didn't place at all I do really think that they look better than the first place so so that's my conclusion they don't want um, a, a physique with, with, with some muscle mass they're not looking for that um, so which yeah so my athlete placed second in PCA and she's invited for British National Championship which is soon in uh, this weekend actually uh, and she didn't play she placed fourth WNBF her physique looks significantly uh, different to any other girl on the stage but she didn't even she didn't even place top three and I'm uh, waiting for that judges feedback because that would be really interesting um, to see for that division if you're looking for someone who does half an hour walk a day no lifting weights no gym then yeah that's fine but you didn't see that you didn't say that clearly on the website my conclusion to this um, I will not be recommending WNBF to any of my athletes specifically um and uh yeah it's, it was very disappointing event and that is honestly not for the placing or anything like that but for the uh, reasons i mentioned in that video so this bit is uh update to the video because i just received the judges feedback from uh for one of my athletes and uh it's honestly just crazy to read the email uh, so they advising her to uh, to look more tight to be tighter 
she was the tightest athlete on the stage. Like literally, she's so lean. If she got leaner than this, she'll be like not eligible for bikini. She'll be more like a figure look. And better posing. Which is unbelievable. I have links for the videos actually and I'll let you judge yourself. So... Uh, it sounds from the email as well that it's just a g generic email they send to everybody. So it's just crazy, that federation. I, I, I don't recommend it to anybody. Um, bikini category, I believe some of the girls who didn't even place, they deserve better than the first place girl, according to the standard of any other federation i i know this is not ifbb but it's just the, um, the standard for this federation is crazy none of my athletes will be competing at that federation again and here's the crazy bit although she placed fourth and she was not qualified for the los angeles the world championship now they emailed her saying that we believe you are worthy of um you know kind of giving you a, a chance for the world championship although it didn't place top three so clearly they don't have enough athletes representing the gb so um yeah just uh it's just another thing but uh Anyway, I don't think she'll be traveling because here's the thing. She she have the best package possible. And uh, we don't want to travel to, to the worlds and she still don't place. Or the place that she deserved at least. So anyway, let me know what you think in the comments. Uh, especially if you competed at that show. Or, or if you were a coach there, or even if you're just someone that went to watch the show. And thank you very much for watching.